Brooke. Thanks for watching. Oh, thanks for watching. <laughs> actually, today. I said that because today we actually are watching. We're doing our very first TV show here at the Brooke Berg Show. So we'll let you know when and where you can check that out. But thanks for tuning in to the Brooke Berg Show. And we're doing things totally different today because I have the privilege of being in my own backyard in Malibu. But I'm actually at Jorge Cruz's fitness studio, which is unbelievable. I can't wait for you guys to see it. David Hart, my producer, is here. Say hi to How everyone, How you doing? David. Good to see you. And listen, guys, in, in, in spirit of sort of what's going on in the world right now, it would be inappropriate, I think, not to address what's been happening in the fall of uh, sexual predators and inappropriate behavior. You know, the last episode that we recorded was another repeat episode with Dr. Emily Morse. And since we did that interview, so much has happened. In fact, we had a little bit of our own PTSD following that interview. We had to go out for dinner and drinks and just sort of wrap our head around all of this personal situations that the two of us have had um, over the course of our careers. But holy cow, morning news today once again, David. So many heads rolling. It's unbelievable. It's crazy. And I think the energy has been intense. One of the positive things, and I, and I know that may, may sound a little bit funky, is that I think people are finding their voice. I think people are starting to think about their actions and their behavior. And I know people are also sweating their butts off, wondering when they're gonna be called out next. I mean, truly, in the workplace, especially in the entertainment industry, it's kind of insane. You know what's, uh, like this morning, I think the thing that you're referring to, and you know, this won't post for a few days, uh, so there may be new information uh, between the time we record this and when it comes out, but uh, the allegation you were talking about that hap that broke this morning was the Matt Lauer thing, which was mind-boggling. Mind-boggling, I mean, disturbing in content, but just the fact to hear his name used in that light is insane. I mean, how about Charlie Rose last week? How about right. how about Terry Crews? How about so many people that you're just watching the morning news going, who's next? Um, and all I can say... Just to be clear, Terry Crews was on the receiving end of I know, the I know, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you... Harassing I'm glad you cleared that up. And you know, whenever <laughs> anybody speaks about him, I mean, think about watching the, the GMA interview with Michael Strahan. It was like, here's this big, strong man yeah, yeah. saying it happens to everyone, may, men and women, and, uh, you know, there's just so much talk about it, and it's um, so sad and so powerful and yet so important, and the fact that, you know... Harvey Weinstein started uh, 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 the conversation who knew, right? who is knew? insane and that's of course Jorge Cruz who is hey, joining bro. us and I'm, hey, everyone. I'm so excited to be here in your space and to have you, you back because episode 16 that we did in the early stages of the Brooke Berg show yeah, yeah. is one of my favorite episodes so if you guys want to go back in time a little bit we broke down Jorge's book The Three Choices and it was very emotional and spiritual and insightful and I love who you are as a man, oh, and I just have great respect for you as um, a fitness guru and everything Gracias. that you do in that whole space. So we're going to get to Jorge in just a minute, but I, I want to um, wrap up uh, the negative talk about all of the sexual harassment. And I just want to say, know what you're going to do if it happens to you. Think about it now. Have those conversations. It's not just female-oriented. You know, I'm, I'm sort of a testosterone male-loving feminist, so I, I, I speak on behalf neutrally for everyone, but have some options in your pocket. Know what you're going to say. Know how to get out of an uncomfortable situation. Even if it's verbal, start thinking about how you would deal with stuff that is not acceptable. Well, one thing I think is great is that I feel like we've reached some kind of tipping point here where uh, the barriers to saying something, to like going and talking to your boss or talking to you know a, a loved one or authorities or whatever, like those barriers, I think, are coming down as everybody realizes there's uh, that that it's so pervasive That's right. that there's not uh, you know it only the shame and stuff only has the power that you give it, and of course that's immense, and you know there's like thousands of years of cultural context that this is happening in but I feel like it's reached a point where like the conversation is just different and mm -hmm. now going forward uh, you know people are going to believe uh, victims a lot more That's right. and accuser and, and um, people who are perpetrating these acts are going to understand that there are real consequences for them in a way that there haven't been up to this point. That's really well said. I mean, people are paying attention. I think people are accountable for their actions and people are thinking twice before they do something stupid and people are speaking up and standing up for themselves. So I think that is a good thing. 
And you know, one of the things that I do when I get really stressed out or when I sort of need to deal or escape or, or just find some sanity in tough times is I turn to health and wellness and yeah. fitness and I lose my Amen. mind. Thanks, yes. it's true though. I lose my mind by carving out some me time and getting into a class. You know, I, I'm still teaching my booty burn, but I, I find my sanity sometimes in shutting down the inner dialogue by just focusing on some good, hardcore uh, health and wellness yeah. and fitness. We call and it move to improve, right, bro? Yeah. Move to improve. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. And so we're going to get all into that. But I have to tell you guys what I've been doing for the last three months and why I can barely talk and why my voice is so scratchy because I'm so exhausted. But I have um, blood, sweat. Did I say sweat? Lots of sweat. <laughs> um, blood, sweat, and, and tearful energy. I have been busting my booty getting ready to launch um, Brooke Burke Body, which is, by the time we publish this podcast, it will be live. It's my fitness app, it's my passion project, and I'm so excited because I have finally found the technology and a way that I can share my fitness philosophies with people around the world, men Ooh, and women, yeah. and show them how to take care of their bodies and that they can work out anytime, anywhere, with no equipment needed, they can get stronger than their excuses, and they can get it done. So. What I've done um, with my other half, whose name is Stuart Volan, and he's actually here in the studio too. <laughs> hey, Stuart. Say hey, Stuart. Hello. He's really shy, yeah. um, but not anymore. We're going public. What we've done is we've went around the way from my backyard to the beach up the California coast, and we've created this very visual, digital That's fitness gorgeous. experience. Yeah. Thank you. I saw it, guys. It is more to come. Well, Jorge is actually part of it too, so we're going to talk all I about it. I get more involved. Yeah, I totally. Want to I want you to be, because I love more. your concept okay. about these little bite-sized burns and these eight-minute workouts. I'll be the eight-minute guy. Yeah. You can be the eight-minute guy yeah. anytime. <laughs> <laughs> You're more than an eight-minute guy. Oh, well, thank you. But what I dig and what's changing in fitness and what's so cool right now is that we've changed our philosophy and we know now that you can spend as much time as you have in your own life and nobody can decide that better than you can. So you can figure out, do I have five minutes today to focus on my abs? Do I have 20 minutes today for a total body workout? Do I have 12 minutes to carve out my legs and booty? So I've designed all these short programs. Love you can that. stack them, you can pick and choose them, you can do them all, you can do five, you can, you can stack two a day. You can do one total body workout. It, you can do it on your phone, on your tablet, on your TV, on your Android, you can get it on Roku. It is so cool. It's Ready for this? Yeah, it's like remote. a quarter a day. Wow. It's less than that. Yeah, it's yeah. seven ninety nine a month. Oh, that's perfect. Which is, come on. So Starbucks. I mean, breakfast, seriously, right? we spend more than that at Starbucks on like frappuccino. crap and caffeine. Yeah. And I look at this like sweat equity, and I've spoken about this a lot in the past. How much are you willing to invest on yourself? How are you going to get it yeah. done? I'm a mom. I've got four kids. You guys know that. Um, I popped them all out myself. And I still feel Wonder like Wonder Woman. No, but but yes, you are. Jorge and I are both forty six years old. I feel better today in my body at this age than I did when I was struggling in my twenties, even as a swimsuit model, weighing my food, going to Gold's uh, Gym. You've done all that. Spending like an hour plus yeah. Yeah, eating yeah, yeah. applesauce tuna yeah. fish and oatmeal gag. Yeah. And yeah. trying to figure out how to do it. How yeah. to do it. And now I know how to work out stronger, harder, more efficiently. I spend less time, I get better results, and now I can finally share it with everyone. I think that's the power. You've been doing this for so many years, as I have. You know, I've yeah. been doing it for 20 years, and now you take all what you've done, Brooke, and I can see what you did in your app. I mean, it Thank brings you. everything that you've learned, which well, is a ton, because you've maintained this incredible body. Thank you for two decades, right? Yeah, and well, it's only getting so. better. You're still you <laughs> haven't peaked kids, yet, so it hasn't you always you been that way. <laughs> and you haven't even peaked yet, Brooke. Right? We're talking said, about. We that. were talking about this earlier, and that you know, peaking in the golden years maybe Please. are ahead of us. But At 60, maybe both of us being the same age. When you say that. It's true though. It makes me so happy because you know I'm a woman's woman and I'm yeah. always inspiring and trying to encourage women but I always feel like women in their 40s are like shit is this the end and what do I do now and everything's falling and gravity and freaking mother nature that bitch. <laughs> what am I going <laughs> to do? It's but, true. Yeah. But you kick her butt. What's well, a choice? Aging and fitness is a choice. Right, right Brooke? If you want to if you want to give up you give up you can give up at 20. You can give right. up at 30 or you can give up at Never. You can never give up. Right. And that's why I love what you do. That's why um, I've invited you back to this show. That's okay. why I'm so honored to have you as part of the Brooke, Brooke Body Fitness app because you have so much to offer. And I want to get all into Jorge now and stop talking about myself. But I do want you guys to go check it out. And I do want to remind you that 
This is uh, an, involving, an evolving program, so I want to hear from you. I want your comments. I'm going to be shooting every month. I'm going to be shooting every week, actually. If there's stuff you want more of, tell me, comment, reach me. You know where to find me, at Brooke Burke. You can reach out to me on the show. You can comment on the app itself. And I'm going to keep producing new content because this is for all of us. Yep. And by the way, I'm also not like you see some of these other apps where people do three reps and then they loop it in and there's a timer. No, going. no, you're there. I am there doing every single move. And there are no move. stunt doubles, right? No, this is the brook. There's been some Body. weeks where I wish I had a stunt double. <laughs> but I am there in totality sweating oh, my booty the off. The true thing. Yeah, literally. Yeah. And but I'm, I'm looking at you right now and you've never looked more tight. It's because I'm doing all these apps. Well, yeah, you're, it's proof, <laughs> Thank you. proof it works. I really, really appreciate that. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. It's my gift to you. Give that gift to yourself. It's the best thing that we can give each other. So, um, yeah, Beautiful. that's it. Brooke, Brooke, I'm so time. excited. You guys have to check it out, guys. She gave Thank us a you. preview here before we went live here. Thanks. It was amazing. I'm excited. I mean, just the, the promo part gets me excited. Thank you. I mean, it's like a beautiful show, but it's weekly. You know? Thank it's you. Awesome. Well, thanks for being Congrats. part of it. So thank, you, thank, no. you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bravo. All right, now let, thank you, I love you. Let's get back to you because um, I'm so excited, first of all, to be in your badass studio here in Malibu. It is so, so cool. <laughs> Malibu. Jorge Cruz and I met in Malibu. Check out episode 16. It was so much fun. A little bit different than what we're going to talk about today because today is going to be all about health and wellness and fitness and nutrition. And totally. let me just remind you guys, just to give you the utmost respect, Jorge has published 33 books. Is that insane? That should what? be 102, right? You're Seriously. looking damn good for, for well, being, thank you. you know, in well, 46, I'm 46. But I started, you know, when I was in my 20s. I was I really know. blessed. But hang I'll on, let, talk. let me I'll brag, because Please. 22 of your books were New York Times bestsellers, yep. which is crazy. Like, an author hopes and lives and dreams to have one. So he has been um, breathing health and wellness, teaching, educating, inspiring, guiding. He's worked with everybody from Tony Robbins to Oprah Winfrey. I'll do all the bragging for you. Thanks. Steve Harvey. I mean, and the list goes on and on and on. We work together. He is awesome. And there's so many things I want to ask you. Let's do it. Thank you for having no, us here. No, thank you for being here. I'm excited you're in my little Malibu space. It's cool. It's I love cool. being in your space. Thank you. It's a little bigger, but... <laughs> okay, we're, we're living the dream. But I want to yeah, I I know I if we can, because um, I want to get up to speed and I want to sure. stay relevant, but I want to go way back to it. your very first book, because this is my obsession right now. It's called Eight Minutes in the Morning. And I have to be honest, I used to think this was bull. I used to be like, yeah, right, right. eight minute workouts. Yeah. It's kind of like that quick fix diet where yeah. they're starving and then they gain the weight again. I don't really dig that. Yeah. But I know this to be true. Not only did we do them together, but I can get a burn in five minutes. So can you just sort of break it down for us? Yeah. And talk to us about how, why it's possible that an eight minute workout can actually change your body? No, I mean, I'm known for short workouts. I was the guy that Oprah discovered back in 1998. And then I had this book come out in 2001 with Rodell Press. You know, they do like prevention, men's health. They're like the leaders in fitness. And when they came to me, they said, well, we want a book that we can take around the world that anyone, I don't care if they're in India, China, or the US, or Mexico, can do this workout, no excuses, you know? And so for me, I was someone who struggled with weight my whole life. You, know, you said that to me before, yeah, that you were chubby. actually a chunky little guy. Mexicano, Mexicano Latino. right? Well, it's so hard too to Too many beans it. and rice, maybe too many nachos, but it was a lot of food. Food was my best friend. So what was the pivotal moment when you real, because now you're Mr. Fitness. I tried. Health and wellness. You know, when, when did that change? You know, for me, I, I always hated my body, hated myself, but I went to Tony Robbins, Anthony Robbins seminar, you know? Right. When I was in college at UCSD in La Jolla, here in California, you know, just a couple hours down the, down the way south, and I went to this one-day business seminar, and Anthony Robbins was there, and he said, you know, make your vo if you can make your vocation your vacation, right? Do what you love, basically. Mm. Find your passion. And I was sitting there, and I have a poli sci degree. I was going to go to law school. You know, look, that's what I was going to go do. And that's why you're so smart. Well, I tried, but, you know, I was, so I have this amazing political science degree, you know, which I was going to use to go to law school, but... At that seminar, I had a light bulb moment. I was like, shoot, you know, I'm unhealthy, and if I could get healthy for my selfish self, mm -hmm. but then teach that to everyone else, and it can make a living, I didn't know how big I could be, but I, I looked at Tony right there on stage, and he was an author. He was with Guthy Ranker back in yeah, the day, doing yeah, personal power. I was there. All these things. <laughs> I was Your there. husband's in one of the shows. I yeah. was too. I was there later. with Tony recording all of his inspirational videos See? in the Bahamas for Guthy Ranker. See? But I want to say yeah. this quickly, too, yeah. everybody. Listen to those light bulb moments, you yeah. know, those, those siren songs that like come up in your life because yeah. there's little messages. And, you know, sometimes when I pray, I pray for 
signs that I can actually see. So sometimes the signs are right there in front of your face. Yeah, yeah. And you're just not paying attention. You keep asking and you're just not paying attention. So yeah. that little moment. Well, I hadn't been paying attention. And so it took Tony Robbins, but you know, he's a force of nature. And he went boom. And I was like, whoa, I had like a ton of bricks hit me. And I was like, I got to do something I love. Yeah. You know, and I wasn't in the, on that path at all. So from that moment on, my whole life changed. I ended up in a nutshell graduating, and I said I want to work for Tony. I worked yeah. for him for two years. I was one of his field sales reps. So I was kind of in sales. Talk about he taught the me mentor how to, of he, all Well, he time. became my mentor, you know? He taught me <laughs> how to have confidence in talking about what you love and going after what you love. And so after two years of working with him, my mother unfortunately passed away. Mm -hmm. And then after she passed, I knew that I had to like, because she was, uh, you know, I wish I could have saved my mom, you know? It was kind of like that Superman moment. Was where it a health this, issue? Well, she was only 64 when she passed, and she was a, a Latin uh, film star. Right, she was in the Mexican cinema, you know? She did yeah. 17 films. and. Gorgeous. Her name is Gloria Cancino, amazing woman. But she passed, and so when that happened, I was like, I don't want that to be me. I don't want it to be other women. I, I and you know, being a man who loved his mom, I, it was just it was that the final straw. Shook you. Yeah, and so then I, I said, you know what? I'm going to devise a plan. And so I start. I went back to school, got my training credentials, did all this stuff, um, and then luckily, knock on wood. I got, a, I got an okay from Oprah to go to Chicago before I had even published a book because she had found out that I was doing these eight minute workouts on videos on How did you, you know not that? YouTube, it wasn't even YouTube, it was uh, Yahoo. Yahoo Fitness huh. found me and they said I was the most, it's kind of funny, I feel goofy to say this, but I was the most downloaded fitness trainer of 1997. Do you think it's <laughs> no, I, I get it. 20 years ago, right? Do you right? think it was? Yeah. Everybody wants a quick fix. Everybody wants something different. Well, yeah. And how did you know back then that eight minutes could actually change your body. Yeah, well, because if we told people that, yeah, people yeah, would yeah. suddenly go, oh, geez, yeah, I, I could invest eight, you know, okay, no, I can do that. Do I want to go drive well, somewhere for a half hour and spend an hour in the gym? Eh, don't have time for that. No, I think one of the things Tony taught me, and then Oprah taught me the most important lesson, because I asked her, I had a commercial break, I was there for three segments with her in Chicago, it was an Angel Network show about passing on kindness, and mm -hmm. I helped one lady lose a ton of weight, she saved someone's life, so Oprah, flew in all these people mm -hmm. were all crying and during that commercial breaks with Oprah I was there on stage with her I said Oprah what advice do you have for me as a trainer she's like keep it simple yeah she said that was all she said and I said Oprah can I get a photo she gave me a photo and I did then, the same thing when I did her show you're like right? she hugs you she totally hugs you we oh, talked yeah. about this before yeah. that photo <laughs> <laughs> what's well, magic I have I it know. under my desk I know, totally. and she's my guardian <laughs> angel you know then she had me in her magazine for eight minute workouts yeah. and then she had me in her guide to, the, and I just oh, guide to life and then this book came out in 2001, you know, and Anthony Robbins wrote the introduction of this book. So, and I think why people like eight minutes, honestly, because it's, I don't know, I think in our head, if we say 10 or 15, someone says like, I don't have time for that, because that's like a commitment. Mm -hmm. If it's under 10 minutes, and I think Tony said this best, he's like, if you don't have time for an eight minute workout, you don't have a life. Yeah. And, totally. and so I, as a trainer, got to work on how can I give my clients, you know, I've had the honor of working with everyone from Oprah, obviously, to Tony Robbins, I've worked with his family, yeah. I've worked with Steve Harvey, I mean, the list goes on and on, I've worked with beautiful women like yourself, Thank you. all these people, you know, and everyone, as you know, whether I'm training it's someone crazy. in a gym at their home or in a trailer, like on a studio set yeah. or something, no one has time, right? You know what I mean, it right? It is the most valuable Ask, I mean, the, yeah, yeah. It's not on our side. It's a total gift. How are you going to spend it? How well are you taking care of yourself? Yeah. What are you going to do with your time? And then it's gone and it just escapes you. The day is over. So, and I remember with the eight minute plan, I knew when it was going to go big when I got a call from Cher. She called me here in Malibu. Her reps called me. She's like, Cher has your book. She saw you on the CBS Early Morning Show. Back back then, before Charlie Rose was on there, it was. The guy that used to host any biographies. Oh, what was his name? Another one bites the dust. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> but he didn't care anymore. <laughs> but this was that long ago. Shit. And so I had people, celebs, calling me, wanting me to train yeah. them this method. Because I would demonstrate in eight minutes how much you could transform your body. And here's the bottom line it's not how much time you put into the gym or whatever you're doing. It's how the quality is, you know? And so here's what I give people. And so what I've done also, as you know this, in the Three Choices, my newest book, and what I'm doing on my Hoya Cruz uh, Facebook Live show, mm -hmm. we're doing, I'm not doing an app, but I have an OSS and all that subscription. And what subscription. day are we starting that? Because I know coming we're doing that. December 11th, December 11th, yes. which is going to be awesome. So this studio it. where we're in yeah. today, you're going to start doing our Facebook Lives every week, which yeah. is going to be we'll do it on Wednesdays. So cool. So we'll you guys work out will, Wednesdays, yeah. right. I think we should do a little Facebook Live during this totally. recording, too. So oh, you want to do it right now? I just think, why not? Why don't we give people a little teaser? Okay. But keep talking. Yeah. We'll get it set up. So long you know, story short. We're trying to do a gazillion things. Yeah, so long story short, the 8-Minute Plan. You guys know me. The 8-Minute Plan, Brooke, was really designed to give people 
the best fitness and the least amount of time. And so, you know, but when we hit two million books sold in the U.S., I knew we had a huge following. And so I'm blessed that, you know, I still have a lot of these baby boomers that have followed me since, you know, 2001. Yeah. It's been 17 years now. And I feel like, you know, Amazing. what I'm doing now for my next project uh, online is that, you know, fitness is hard to do unless you have video, you know. And so right now, I'm going to be doing something similar. I have loads of video. Yeah. <laughs> so we can collaborate. No, you're amazing. And what I'm going to do is I'll, I do live uh, on my uh, HorgeCruz.com page, right? I'm going to start in December 11th as well. I'm going to be doing a live workout. It's just eight minutes. Yeah. And we'll do Love as many it. as we can with you so we can introduce people to your app because obviously your app is going to go deeper. It's going to give people more of a targeted burn and... I mean, your app does everything, right, Brooke, from the bikini body to the butt to the arms to, I mean, you target everything, right? Yeah, it does it all. And then what I'm hoping to do in the near future, too, and what you and I will be able to do together is also yeah. show people about nutrition and, and, and remind them yeah, that 90% of it is too. what we eat, and we're going to inspire people. And I've got videos at home. I'm taking them into my kitchen. I've got interviews. I mean, even stuff like this for someone who's down and out, which I want to get into as well, yeah, we'll and doesn't emotionally have the drive or doesn't know how to get motivated, but they've been sitting on the couch or they think they can't, and they're listening to all the negative crap inside their head that is ruling their world, and they don't know how to just simply take the first step. Yeah. How do we help those people? Because you and I are so passionate about this. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why I did the app is because I want totally. to, it's, I want to give that I want to educate For me, after 20 things. years of being a fitness trainer, it comes down to three facets, I think. I call the first one, uh, really, and it's the, probably the most important. People like to look at it as the last important one. I call it Think Fit. And it's understanding that your thoughts, what you, it's like the law of attraction, you know. What you say and what you focus in on is what becomes your reality. So we got to believe that we can do this, you know. And I teach my clients, you know, the power of affirmations, mm -hmm. right, Brooke, about how you can do this. Then obviously diet's important. You know, I call concept. it I call it eat fit, and that's this whole idea that your body and, and maybe we can talk about the but I have a new plan that's gonna be coming out in about a year called Metabolic Magic. Ooh. Which is about understanding how hormones after the age of forty really uh -huh. impact our health. Can we just talk about hormones? Yeah, we're gonna be talking <laughs> or can about we hormones. Can we not talk about hormones? But when it comes to weight, specifically with weight loss. And so this is a new diet plan that I've created for a lot of my celebrity clients like yourself. And it says yeah. twenty Eight days of dinners, lunches, and in between morning magic. The magic is in the morning. I'll tell you why in a minute. Because we have yeah. good fats. We've talked about this. We, a Jorge bit. and I spend a lot of time, and Sam, his husband, <laughs> talking and your about husband too. and my husband talking about what we're doing, what we're eating, what we're actually not eating. So I don't want to cut you off. Finish no, that no, sentence, no, no. and then I want to get into all that intermittent fasting because yeah. I'm doing it right now. Yeah, yeah, and, and you're looking hotter than that. Thank you. So, thank you. Honey. So I call that eat fit. This whole metabolic magic thing, which is about understanding how to eat good fats to activate your metabolism mm -hmm. because a lot of times we say we're 40 we're we're broken we're not it's more a diet and it's more yeah. lifestyle it's built up after decades of eating poorly and we need to figure out how to combat this stage yeah. especially the damn 40s yeah because, because you can drop weight yeah. even in your 40s a pound a day is what i tell a lot of my celeb clients if they follow my metabolic magic eating plan and that's, then the fun, that's ambitious. That's awesome. What? But it's it works. It really does when you do this no, sixteen-hour window. I, I, I know you walk. You walk. We'll the talk, talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk do. about it. And then, but the final piece. So it's it's think fit. It's eat fit. And then the final piece. I call it soul fit. It used to be move fit for me, mm -hmm. and that's this whole eight-minute workout type thing. But for me, I think you know, and I think Soul Cycle is doing such a great job. You've done the Soul Cycle. I stuff love their before. fitness philosophy. It's like therapy in there. It's it's a very much a mental mm -hmm. experience. So what I'm creating with Soul Fit is my own version of Soul Cycle, but without the cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's understanding, and it's eight minutes. And I'm going to take you on a little workout later too. We're going to go to the beach. Yep. We're going to do this eight minute Soul Fit workout. Love That's that. eight minute based. We're not going to need anything but a yoga mat or a towel. Awesome. And we're going to get a really high intensity interval training type of workout. So it's HIIT training. That's the first piece, HIIT training, which for anyone over 40 listening to my voice right now, it does two incredible things. They're doing a lot of HIIT training out there. And you see in CrossFitters, you know, a lot of biohackers. HIIT training, HIT training? HIIT, high intensity interval training. It's the biggest word out there, but what they're showing now for baby boomers, and so many of my clients are in their 60s, 40s, or 50s, you know. So when you're over 40, you've got to keep your metabolism active. But what HIIT training does, and we can do it in eight minutes, uh, it's going to do two things. It's going to help you burn belly fat. It yeah. targets abdominal tissue. And number two, and this is the, probably the most important, I think, for anyone like us at 46 who want to stay young and not peak yet. So, yeah, so HIIT training basically allows us to target belly fat, and also keeps our mitochondria really young. And the mitochondria in our body are the parts of our cells that give us energy and vitality. Mm -hmm. And HIIT training, where you go from a high intensity to a low intensity. So we're going to do this on the beach. We're going to start off this. low. We're going to go soft for a minute. Then we're going to go high. We're going to get the heart rate up. Then we're going to bring it back down, up. 
down, and it makes it kind of down. doable. You know, and you yeah. mentioned women in their 60s, men and women. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of those gals I have a lot of there. women in their 60s yeah. in my Malibu booty burn, and at first I was mm -hmm. really surprised, yeah. and now I'm totally inspired, and it's oh, yeah. such an awesome experience to see these women tapping into that sort of woman that they used to be and their mojo and their intersexuality, and just, it's so powerful to well, watch that for women, and they're strong. No, know? no, no, and you know, I've worked with women my whole life since Oprah hooked me up to the world, you know, 20 years ago, and I've discovered that women at different stages in their life have different pains, you know, maybe we can talk about women in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, because yeah. I have a take for any of you girls and ladies listening that are in any one of those age groups, whether you're 40, 50, 60, or 70, there are certain things that you're going to be going through yeah. if you're at any one of those ages. And I've been doing this for 20 years, and I can tell you what to anticipate. Well, I love that, because I think a lot of women don't know they're in it when they're in it. And yeah. everything starts changing in the 40s, and it's not just the body. No. You're, it's no. like what you said. It's, it's the emotional hormones, stress, it's, too. It's, it's body temperature. Yeah. It's the fatigue. It's, you know, all of the things that are ever-changing. Yeah. And we're not really prepared or educated or really I sure wasn't when stages. I was young. And what so, so what SoulFit does, my workout method, Brooke, it takes you in eight minutes, it gives you a great outer workout. So you're strong on the outside. But here's what I've noticed, whatever decade you're in as a mm -hmm. woman out there, whether you're 40, 50, 60, or 70, or plus, it's gonna help you release inner pain. And I, and, lead, and I can use that word broadly because inner pain can be can be like an adhesion you have in your back, mm -hmm. like a, with fascia where it's really tight, mm -hmm. or it can be calcification. I mean, I was just with uh, with our dear friend Jen mm -hmm. over at NBC. You know, yep. she took us to to Will and Grace. Had the best time. So awesome. And she has a For tight. Him was so sweet. He and Sam came to support Operation Smile. It's amazing. Gave a very generous contribution, and they actually purchased a walk on at Will and Grace, which was so it was cool. So much fun. I and love the, a little. And the get president. Get you know who the get. president is? Can we give her a shout out to Jen? Yeah, That's Jennifer Salky. Awesome. She was amazing. NBC. And we sat with her, and my sons were there. We had the best time. But she shared with me that she has a really tight upper mm -hmm. left back, and I don't, I don't think she minds. She's not hiding it, you know. But I'm going to be working with her to try to awesome. break free of that calcification that comes from a lot of people like her at a desk all day. You know, yeah. that's a lot of stress being the president of a network. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm seeing a lot too, which I think is so true, which is so interesting, is a lot of yeah. people are not even sitting in desk chairs anymore. They're yeah. getting the higher desks, yeah. a lot of people in the industry and the yeah. agents, and they're standing up at work all day long because it's so much better for the body. Yeah. And even... Uh, sitting on the workout fitness balls instead of a chair which keeps your core There's engaged. There's so many little tricks we can use so cool. in the office and I love to we see it We need to too. do a bunch of tips for that. We'll do you know that. I mean? Totally. I love that. No, Why don't we, we even right now give our, our, our listeners some quick takeaway of how to just you're powering through the day. Fitness is the last yeah. thing on your mind. Yeah. You haven't even gotten to the eight minute workout but there's a few little things. Park a little further away. You know, walk. Take the stairs. Don't take the elevator. Drink your water. Drink no, your absolutely. green tea. absolutely. And I think what you said at the office, you know, if you can get a, a standing desk, mm -hmm. I think something I learned, I've been working with Apple products my whole life. I'm going to stand up for the rest of this interview. Yeah, we should stand. Let's all stand. We're, <laughs> We're standing. We're right standing. We're standing. We're adjusting our mics, guys. We're standing tall, <laughs> proud, good posture, chest right. out, thumbs in, a <laughs> butt out. But you know, honestly, abs engaged. Yeah, abs Close are always engaged. By the way, your your rib, your abs will start listening after a certain period of time. Yeah, they actually will become that, a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, get stronger. <laughs> I mean, and, and standing, you know, one of the things I love about Apple Watches, I don't know if you use one of those, but they record how many hours you stand. Mm. And so I tell all my clients who want to stand a minimum of ten hours a day. Really? Yeah, and you're like, what? <laughs> they're like, no, you do. And so that's out of twenty four hours, and mm -hmm. it, they're like, and it doesn't mean you stand the whole ten hours, but every hour you've got to be standing and that's what mm -hmm. the Apple Watch monitors is if during that hour you're up for at least five to ten minutes and so it's like setting a timer on your that's smartphone doable. so every hour it goes off and wherever you're at move if you've been seated on an airplane I was just in Seattle yesterday yeah. you know and I was on the plane but I it's got so up like five to get times up and move around on the airplane I, you know, stretch your legs you know I did a, a, a complete program that's I think it's 10 minutes ish yeah. what is it on about? my app and it's called the office oh, but I when I that. did it I went together yeah, yeah. Well. and all you need is a chair oh, yeah. and that's what you could basically yeah. do on your 10 minute lunch break totally. and it doesn't take that long and you're not breaking a vigorous sweat you're going to definitely yeah. Hopefully you're sweating a little bit, but it's a series of squats and arms and moves, and you don't need to get fancy, and you don't need an expensive membership, and you don't need an enormous amount of equipment. What you need to do is commit to yourself yeah. and yeah. get obsessed with taking care of your body. This question, because yeah. this came up the other day in a conversation yeah. with my girlfriends. There's so much information out there. There's so many new workouts. There's yeah. so many quick fixes, whether it's diet, food, you know. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Soul cycle, whatever's you, out there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, how do you know? Like, you were on to the eight minutes way before it's time. 
yeah. which sort of helped put you on the map. And that book yeah. is still relevant today, and you're yeah, still, still doing your eight minute workouts. Yeah. But how do you know, what without having the nutrition and the fitness experience, how do you know what will work for your body? Because I'm really into educating people about experimenting. Yeah, I, I think for anyone out there who hasn't exercised in say five or ten years, you know, you probably have a limited amount of time. So you got to commit to something that you can do. And I think the first thing that we got to break as a myth out there, Brooke, is that people think we got to go to a gym mm -hmm. where you need really expensive equipment. And, and even though those things are amazing to have, because I have a gym membership, mm -hmm. I know you do, we all do, we can't go every day, you know. And I think what you have to commit to is knowing that your own body is your own everything. Mm -hmm. And I actually, so you know, just I, need that. I don't because yeah. I. I'll go to the beach. I know how to do it, work out at home. I I'll saw you this summer. You were in Europe, right? Was, well, You're working out in, where were you in Italy? That's kind of how yeah. it started. Like, you talk yeah. about your aha moment. I yeah. was in Italy, and this is when right. I got committed to creating this whole fitness app. You were I, on it, I right? couldn't get to a gym. There weren't any gyms in France. I was eating, drinking, and eating more baguettes and drinking more rosé. Uh-uh, like uh, 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 uh Because you got to live a little, right? Yeah, I, I believe in well, discipline. you were on vacay. I, I enjoy my life. You work hard, you got to play hard. But after a period of time, I was like, whoa. The Brooke my, body was. I was like, I'm not. Was enough. No, my body actually went into shock uh, emotionally, <laughs> oh. not just physically, because I wasn't getting that um, dopamine, that release, yeah. and endorphin, and everything. So I was like, whoa, I've got a lawn chair and I've got a lawn chair mat. Let's make this and, work. And hmm, I'm going to get a little bit crafty here. And I went That's into the it. backyard yeah. and I was like, I don't even have a yoga mat. I laid down the lawn chair cushion. Yeah. I grabbed a chair. I did step ups and kickbacks and I did a whole bunch of just random stuff at, that I knew where I started doing it every day with some music on my phone yeah. I threw a couple of them up on social media people are like whoa that's cool show us more that's really good are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna continue sharing those and evolve on that and I was like I think we're on to something yeah. here let me show everybody how you can work out yeah. anywhere magic. around the world yeah magic and it was that some that was my moment that was my my siren but I have, to, I have to give you a shout out because you have really inspired I think women and you know, obviously, you have a lot of guys that love you too for many reasons. But the women out there all want to be broke. You know, they want oh, your no. well, they want your energy, they want your vitality, and they want your, you. your body because you have Thank a beautiful you. physique. And I know genetically, well, as do you, you. you know, but I also know like my family, as in your family, we've talked about this. Maybe we're not all fitness models at home, you know, but you have taken that choice Thank and you, you made it. You've made it, I think, a requirement. And I think that's the answer to your question. Oh, Long I love story that you thing. Call it a requirement. Well, you have it to, is a requirement for my life. You have to schedule it. I think, uh, you know, like aging is a choice. Yeah. And fitness, whether you want to be healthy and live and aging beautiful, gracefully is, a, is choice. a choice. And so you got to schedule it just like if you want to have nice teeth, you schedule mm -hmm. brushing your teeth, I hope, before we you go to bed. We do it for everything else. We yeah. do our physicals, we do it for our kids, we do it for our, our, our necessary yearly appointments. But not everybody takes health and wellness that serious. And, in, and speaking about our families, and I don't mind, you know, yeah. being transparent and vulnerable here, of you course. know, I come from a family of addicts and obesity. Yeah, I mean like yeah. serious obesity. You didn't win the gene lottery, right? A at all. Yeah. At all. <laughs> and maybe that scared me. Yeah. Maybe that made me want to take better care of myself. I yeah. wasn't led by example. Right. I've also watched it happen and I've lived it. And fortunately, I don't have an addictive personality, but when it comes to my own body, which I yeah. control so a, a, to a certain extent, totally. you know, thyroid well, you have cancer, full control. Loop, yeah, but you do. but I do have full well, control, and not coming and from you know coming up in a really healthy uh, health and wellness standpoint, it was healthy emotionally, but not coming up in a really healthy environment, really sort of scared me. Yeah. I think. Well, I think you know, you know working last season. You remember I was on uh, Revenge Body yeah. with Chloe Kardashian, and when Chloe called me. I had never worked with her before, any of the Kardashians, and she already got fit from our buddy Gunnar Peterson. Yeah. She was yeah. healthy, but she said, Worry, this show is not about getting revenge on your ex or anything like mm -hmm. that. It's about getting revenge on the past. And oh. she's like, You know, it's about understanding Emotional for her. Fitness. And she was raw with me. And, you know, on the show, if you guys watch season two, it's coming out next January. I'm not on the show because I have another, I'm mm -hmm. working on a project for television. But I'll tell you this what she shared with me is that we have to understand that. A lot of us like, and she's a self-admitting emotional eater, yeah. you know, so she used food as her drug. She was addicted to food. You know, and a lot of us, we may not be doing heroin or cocaine, yeah. hopefully we're not, you know, but that stuff will kill you. But we have you. addictions, yeah. But food can kill you too. And so I worked with a girl, the, her name was Lauren, on Revenge Body, who was uh, 20, amazing transformation. 28 I mean, years old. You saved her life. Well, you know, it was really, she was at that point where she was morbidly obese. 
and was planning her wedding the following year, but at the same time, when you're morbidly obese, you have about a year to two to live. Mm -hmm. So you're like literally planning your wedding and your funeral. That, that's like an aha time. Mm -hmm. It can be. Mm -hmm. And so she knocked on the door of Khloe Kardashian, and Khloe luckily was casting the show, and she had a genuine story that she wanted to save herself. So for me, teaching her that she had to make a schedule, and I would say anyone listening right now that can't or hasn't committed, make a commitment to at least eight minutes. Come yeah. on, at least eight minutes whether it's using Brooks app or whatever you got out there, they don't have to do the full schedule workout. Schedule it but in your calendar, in. commit to yourself enough to put yeah. pen to paper, put it in your app, whatever it is yeah. that you do. Yeah, and, and I've written books where you do the workout in the morning, that's usually a great time, time, you know, and at night it can be a second time for some mm -hmm. people or it can be your time because I know that's when people, especially if you're an emotional eater, mm -hmm. that's when we try to go to things like that to make us feel better and I always tell my emotional eaters that use the night time then to work out. You know, I wrote it minutes in the morning yeah. before I was really into emotional eating and understanding that the dynamic of why people ate at night. And, and it, recognizing that, you know, recognizing that challenge and that addiction, I think is yeah. a big, big part of it. And do you remember Jack Elaine? He taught me this incredible saying years and years ago before he passes. I met him like 15 years ago with Arnold at the Governor's yeah, Council, yeah. all this fun stuff. And he said, Jorge, you know, he's like the most under, underutilized form of antidepressant is exercise so and the most overutilized drug out there is food. So you got to understand food is a drug. It can be a medicine. I mean, it really is. Food is medicine. Yeah. I believe that strongly. Dr. Oz. Uh, exercise is medicine. I, I'm a good Vitamin friend of Dr. Oz. Exercise. You know, Dr. Oz, give him a shout out. Hey, what's up, Dr. Oz? He wrote his book recently, uh, Food Can Fix It. So, yeah. you know, proof that food is medicine. But the thing is, food is also medicine that can drug you and kill you, mm -hmm. you know. And so that's where I was at when I was young. I was getting overweight. And most of my clients are at that point where they feel, like you did on your trip, like, what the heck? Mm -hmm. My body is changing my emotions. It's and just so a feeling. It's, there's a feeling that you get, even if you walk in in full exhaustion. Yeah. And one of your worst days to a class or to committing to some type of fitness, you walk out of there with a different type of energy. It might totally. still be fatigue. But it will reset yourself. But exercise, guys. And we're going to do this great workout. Yeah. We're going to video it hopefully a little I bit. I want to ask you about food because I want to totally. talk about what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, And this might sound like, yeah, you know, we'll weird word. People don't even know what this means. I certainly didn't yeah. until somebody else turned Let's me on to it. it. But intermittent yeah. fasting. Yeah. So break it down for everybody because yeah. a lot of people are probably doing it anyway and they don't realize it, especially if you dine early. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. So for me as, as a fitness trainer, I didn't get into nutrition maybe until like my 10th year of being a trainer. Because every time I'd help a, a client lose weight, then they would sabotage with food. So I had to look at this. And I was always inspired by people like Richard Simmons, who obviously was more into fitness, but never a dietitian. And right. I was like, I got to learn this from Don't myself. Don't you miss his little red spandex shorts? I love <laughs> Richard, where are you? We need you. We need to get him on the show, bro. We got to go we find him. We have to. I miss Knock his Knock on his door in Beverly Hills, and we'll just show up at his house. And <laughs> my mom. My mom. Did you watch that when you were younger, David? Were you into Richard Simmons? I love My Richard. mom used Remember? to watch that show. to was the with I, I wasn't white into Richard Simmons, but you know, the uh, there's a great podcast called Finding Richard Simmons. Oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like but he, they found him in Beverly Hills, I hope. Right? Yeah, oh he's alive. This guy Dan Taberski was a Daily Show writer. Let's track him. Let's get him on the show. Can get we track Richard him Simmons down? On Come show? on. Yeah. We'll go to him. Public person anymore. I he doesn't have to go he's public. Not we won't take it. To any. Or and I, we're calling him. We're we calling will him. call him. You know what? We're getting Richard Simmons. We'll get him some flowers and we'll go to his house. Brooke, you and I at his house and Sam. Sam met him once. Sam. Come on, Sam. All right, go on, go on. So, long story short, so intermittent fasting is this idea that. That our bodies are designed actually to have a break. Of, uh, you know, we usually have break, break fast breakfast to break the fast mm -hmm. that we have when we sleep. Now, I don't know if you know this, book, but breakfast was more invented and commercially scaled out by Harvey Kellogg's and his brother back in the Victorian time period when they created the cornflake. Now you think about it. When people this is weren't good eating. Trivia. I didn't people know this. weren't eating cereal until the Victorian time period because there weren't processed grains in boxes. You had to eat fresh food, right? So, and most people, unless we were very wealthy, didn't wake up and have any food. Like, right. We didn't have refrigerators. We didn't have. I mean, and you I went out. Hell, a better shape than we are. Oh my gosh! <laughs> didn't have heart disease. I mean, that just started during the Industrial Revolution. So during the Industrial Revolution, breakfast became a thing. Kind of like I always laugh at, is it Taco Bell that created the fourth meal? Do you ever see those commercials? No. They say, say, the new fourth meal, you're supposed to eat at midnight. I'm like, no, 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 so, no. you don't want to be well, eating at well, midnight, the, a fourth meal. This is what's so meal. fascinating, and we'll get so, like, right into what yeah. intermittent fasting is, but yeah. people used to think, myself being one of them, never skip breakfast, eat late at night, keep your metabolism going, yeah. eat five meals, and I was like, 
oh my gosh, it's been two and a half hours, three hours, I gotta eat again, I don't have time to eat. I was like juggling a gazillion things, sure. the kids work life, and I was trying to stick to this small little smart meal plan, and I've published stuff about it. Like yeah, I was so on the wagon of, of constantly feed your body. All right, so here's what I'm it is. I'm so free bro. now. No, no, no. <laughs> and I've written so many diet books, so people are gonna think, Warhe, well, you're crazy, because you've written many books, but I'll tell you, for the last three years here in Malibu, I've been training people the last year and a half, actually, since Steve Harvey uh, had, he moved out here to LA and all that. And so many of my clients are definitely baby boomers. So if anyone's out there and their hormones feel like they're betraying them and their metabolism is broken, <laughs> what inter what Stop looking at me. Yeah, what, <laughs> not you, come on, bro. But if your metabolism you feels broke and you're over 40, yes, your hormones may have a little bit to do it because your body's changing, but 90% of it is going to be from the eating excessive amounts of carbs and protein in the morning. Because here's what I've discovered, and there are some people that are hardcore fasters where they'll take 16 hours and they won't eat anything. Mm -hmm. What I do, for example, Brooke, this is how I do intermittent fasting. You know, I call it metabolic magic, and it's a project I'm working on. I've got it here. I'm going to give you a sneak yeah. peek, sneak a sneak peek at it. But we can drop. Imagine this. this guy's dropping a pound a day, and here's how you do it without traditional not eating in the morning. So imagine you're having dinner, you know, you have dinner say around 7 or 8, mm -hmm. you have that nice meal, there's nothing that's off limits, you can eat whatever you want, I always encourage... You hear that guys, nothing's off limits? Yeah, I encourage good protein. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah, <laughs> but if it's a little fried or there's good fat in there, just like it's good healthy fats, if you're cooking with olive oil, if you're cooking with like coconut oil, if you're, mm -hmm. even if it's uh, pan fried or something like that, yeah. it can be a little deep fried. Don't be afraid of the good oils. Yeah, the good oils are good, are good. If veggies, good carbs, hopefully rice, pasta, you can do a lot of things. I like spiralizing, but have I'll your stop. big meal, yeah, you can have dessert to him. even have a little rosé. Come on, bro. You Stuart. know what I mean. You should see Stuart's eyes back there. He's the healthiest guy I know. We work endless yeah. hours. Yeah, yeah. He does not touch a carb. Pasta, Stuart. No, you can't I can pasta. load you up, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power. So, but imagine this, though. So once you have that meal, you get in your little dessert and drink right in, too. And so I would say most of my clients stop eating any celebrity I work with by 8 o'clock. Okay. So have your dinner between I 6 and 8 and you can do that. You have a 12 window to, to eat and then be done with it and then wait 16 hours until you eat a full meal again. So that's probably till noon. But here's what happens. When you wake up in the morning, 7 or 8. Earlier. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> sleep longer. You're right, exactly. No, that's a sleeping beauty diet. You don't want to just right, sleep well, yeah. away. But what I would say is when I wake up in the morning, you know, I wake around like 6 or something like that and I won't eat till noon. So I go mm -hmm. 6 more hours without eating in the morning. Traditional mm -hmm. carbs and proteins. Here's what the science has shown. We're leptin resistance, and so when leptin is it's this hormone in our body is given when your body eats carbs and protein in the morning. Unfortunately, your leptin gets unset, and so you want to reset it. And so the way you do it, and what the science has shown, guys, it's very simple. You can eat healthy fats though in the morning, mm -hmm. and if, and what I'll have in the Before morning. Before the sixteen hour. Yeah, you can. Time. What, what if you want a breakfast? A simple, real breakfast. And let me just half an avocado. Half an the avocado. The concept yeah. is having a longer period of time with no food in your body. Car carbs and protein specifically. So I fats gosh, are actually okay. I'm doing oh, okay, okay, because I get up in the morning and like put a little coconut oil in my coffee. That's, so that's fine. Good. No, that's good. All right, so this is and that's what I do too. Fascinating. I'll, I'll and use, this is new. This is it some really kind is. Of new research. Well, there's a lot of clarify for this idiot over here. Um, yeah, it's a little confusing. What are you eating in the morning? Fats, but not protein. Well, let me tell you. So in the Good morning, question. yeah, great question. What I'll have is, yeah, I had this yesterday when I was in Seattle. I had half an avocado with a little sea salt. Mm -hmm. And I know it doesn't sound exciting, but I had that with coffee. And then in my coffee, I actually had MCT oil, medium chain, chain triglyceride oil. It's made from coconut oil. You can get it online, everybody. We, we live in like a bubble here. Yeah. I would say New York, LA, Chicago, the places where bulletproof coffee is exploding. Oh yeah, that's We're not out like there. doing ads here either, you guys. This is not like no, no, we're not being paid I by I have MCT people. oil every day. Yeah. And it's pure fat and it's great for the brain and fat burns fat. And yeah, I love avocados. Sounds, I put it in my coffee, David. Yep. And I know that sounds random. I'll put a half a spoonful of ghee butter. I know that sounds nuts. No, ghee butter's like, you great. Want to, you want me to put Grass butter? Grass-fed butter's great. I might as well just put that on my booty. You know, no, I put it in the coffee. Yeah, and one of my clients Brain is president. Food. You know, I've worked for years for since like maybe eight years ago with President Bill Clinton, and mm -hmm. his doctor, Dr. Mark Hyman, mm -hmm. is a big author, written a lot of the books fat, about get thin, yeah. this whole concept yeah. that healthy fats in the morning, whether it's nuts, whether it's grass-fed butter in your coffee, which is a lot of what bulletproof mm -hmm. people will do, whether it's MCT oil, whether it's grass-fed butter, you can do that. And what I'm working on is a whole diet plan that gives people menus. So I'm excited beverages. about this. I call it morning magic. magic. Morning and, magic. And do you feel leaner and do you feel? Oh better? my gosh, you drop a pound a day, or you keep the weight off. Because what I do at lunch and dinner 
is I do eat like like a like a like a caveman. I mean, I don't just eat a dainty salad. Mm -hmm. I'll have a nice burger. I'll have avocado. Sam, are you on doing it, it too? Oh, I'll yeah, Sam, Sam has never looked better too. And there's, <laughs> Sam always looks good. So looks good. You guys are gonna see. <laughs> Sam's so cute. Um, but guy. there's an app that you showed me as well that's on your phone, so it even takes the video. It's called Zero, so you would yeah. you would you would For input fasting. what time you're eating your your last meal at night, and then yeah. it tells you what time you can eat. And and I'll tell you what I used to do every morning, like clockwork, when yeah. I would wake up, I would make myself this big shake, and it had the sugars, and it had the carbs, and it had the oil, and it had my almond milk, dates, protein, pears, it had all kinds of stuff in it. And it was probably it had to be close to a thousand. It had to be like six hundred or thousand calories. Like clockwork, I would have my coffee, I would have that, I would go work out, then I would have another shake, and then I was eating my lunch, yep. and I was like, man. And I was never struggling with my weight, but when I no, started doing different. the intermittent fasting, and I skipped that shake, and I wake up in the morning, have my bulletproof coffee, I'm also saving myself about a thousand calories a day. No, it's But I huge. feel better, I have energy to work out, I feel leaner, and I really believe in this, you guys, so look it up and check it out. Yeah, and I think, the, I think the aha moment for me was as much as I love pure fasting, which is like being a Buddhist where you don't eat anything in the morning, I mean you just mm -hmm. have black coffee or mm -hmm. water, and then you and you literally will get very hungry if you wait till I'd be noon. Way too grumpy. What I would do is, you know, at seven I'll have my coffee, mm -hmm. and you know, this morning Sam and I went to Starbucks, I got a grande and a venti cup, mm -hmm. and I like that extra space oh, at yeah. the top, mm -hmm. and then I asked for three little cubes of the Mari Gold Gold Butter, which is a grass-fed butter, which they'll give you for free at Starbucks. And by the way, guys, free. any pinch, any hotel in the world, has you butter as people well. have never heard of this concept. You go get a little pat of butter. And yep. I know it's And I put three insane. pats in, three pats in my um, grande. And then you put it in there, and I put a little stevia, because Starbucks has yeah, stevia. Yeah. And literally, I have my bulletproof at Starbucks for like two bucks. You're so smart. It's so easy. I'm going to spell this for you guys, because I know it's a weird word. It's intermittent. It's I-N-T-E-R-M-I-T-T-E-N-T. Check it out. I really believe in all these good thoughts. Yeah. And Jorge, you've got to come back on when we talk about no, we will. magic. And you and I could go on and on and on. No, we'll talk so about we're going to have to break this up like monthly. Absolutely. What else do we want to tell anyone? I want to touch real quick yeah. on the fact that it's the holidays yep, and it's yep. madness and it's chaotic. And I know that one of the greatest things that you can do, we already talked about the gift of health, but get into a space where you can yep. expend some energy and balance this chaos because we are giving and giving and giving. Myself, especially as a mom, trying to please everybody. Shopping, it's there's more parties, we're drinking more, we're eating more. There's a lot less time available. Make some time. Try to enjoy it. You try gotta to put slow yourself first, down. Brooke. You do. And you slow it down. And it doesn't have to be for an hour. It doesn't have to be for two hours. You don't have to join a gym. We're not saying join a gym in December, guys. You don't have to do that. You can do that in January, yeah. sure. Yeah. But I think in December, just take a minute for yourself. That's right. I would take eight minutes, whether it's for exercise or just for you. Get up to ten. If you can go for ten, as most people, if I say ten minutes, like I don't have ten minutes. Know, so eight minutes crazy. seems to be a magic number. And we're going to give them a lot of options. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not totally pushing my app. You can go check out other apps. There's free stuff on the internet. You can go on YouTube. You don't even have to leave your house. Oh. You know, Brook Brook Body is going to provide them with a tremendous amount of variety. Oh and it's God, not it's just amazing. about me. Like, I'm celebrating other people, yourself, other trainers. Yeah, you have a lot of great people. But you can here. go on the internet and find something that you respond to. Commit to a partner. Yep. You know, yep. write it down, like Jorge said. Schedule it. Give yourself, like, prioritize your time. Carve out. We're worthy. We are so worthy of it. And Carve I think what you time. have to do, guys, if you can, to stand on this note, is sit down. I, I, I learned this from Tony Robbins years ago about keeping a daily journal. I do it on my iPad now, but however you want to do it on your phone, find a little notepad on your phone or wherever. Get real paper, like you that's use a real right. diary, right? That's right? I still do. Yeah, and that's <laughs> like great. Notes. You're old school, but, you know, old school works. And write down why you want this help. And think about that every day, affirm that you, you deserve it. And I would say anyone listening right now know that you deserve help, you deserve to be vital, you deserve prosperity, you deserve that, you were born for that. And no matter what you've been through, I don't care if you're in your 40s or 70s, and whether you think your body's broken or not, it's not broken. Mm -hmm. You just have to fit, change your thinking and change it with words right now. Affirm that I am worthy. Write that down 10 times. Say it in the mirror today 10 times. I'm worthy of health. I'm worthy of fitness. I'm worthy of nutrition. I'm worthy of pushing forward. And then I would definitely subscribe to your podcast. Everyone should be if they're not. Thank you. you know, I am because you need. Jorge's going to be back for more. You yeah, know, and absolutely. I'm scared. I'm launching a podcast next year too, Brooke. So I'm going to need your advice and well, mentorship. Well, I'm here for you. And it's you so. Know, because you've done this. You've done this. You know, it's so fun to be able to share this valuable, inspirational content with everyone. And I want to add to what you said. And I think I've spoken about this 
before, so forgive me, you guys, if I'm repeating myself, but I end every class that I teach in Malibu with three really important breaths. Ooh, and, tell I'll, us. and I'll just bring yeah. up, you know, one of them, and it's uncomfortable for, for it's uncomfortable for a lot of people, and it always fascinates yeah. me. And I ask everybody to close their eyes, put their hand on their lower belly, to breathe in, and to breathe in a personal compliment. And people get really Ooh. uncomfortable, and I'm like, do it anyway. You guys are the ones that need to do it anyway. And it's to. to change the inner dialogue, and it's to make it a yes. habit, so that every day you can focus on one thing. And it's private, by the way. I don't ask anybody to say it out loud. Focus on something about yourself that you love. You saturate yourself with love and with compassion, and you make it a habit. And then it gets easier. And all the other stuff, you'll get there. You'll figure it out. But that inner dialogue, man, I, my body's listening Self -talk. to all the chatter. Powerful. So I love how, what you preach about that. Well, I love what you're doing, Brooke. And you got to come back because there's so oh, I'm, much. I'm committing right now to everyone listening. I'll be here once a month, Brooke. I love that. Whenever you give me the Mari and I are going here. to the beach right now. We're, We're going to do an eight-minute eight minute workout. workout. I want you, you to it. check him out because I'm celebrating him in the Fitness Friday carousel on my app. Mm -hmm. I also want you guys to find Jorge Cruz. It's just at Jorge Cruz. Find him on social media. Yep. He's going to start his Facebook Live show on December, December 11th. 11th. Every and you're going to be the first Wednesday of that I'll week. be there a little bit, but he's going to Please. show you how to eat, how to work out, how to take care of your mind, body, spirit. Yeah. Get one of his books, any of his books. I mean, even right now, what would you say? Eight gonna, minutes. Start go, with book one. I hate to say one. it. It's still right. I know. It's still good. It still is. But, you know, we're going to be updating it soon. I really am going to be updating it on my JorgeCruz.com site. More in the live Go to the format. website as so well because yeah. you're going to bring back a whole subscription based model there as well. And yes. you know, there's so much infor information out there. I know it's hard to figure out what's right, what's not, and what works, but we'll guide you through it and keep your comments coming to me, please. You guys know where to find me. It's at Brooke Work all across all social media channels. And you can even find links to the app there. Go to the app store. You can go to brookworkbody.com. Tell us what you think. We want to hear from you. Jorge, your studio is badass. I love uh, it. Thank and you. Your ass is badass. Thank you. And no, you know what we're going to do also is we're going to um, edit all this fun footage today so you can see Stuart and David Hart and Sam and check us out and see what, what kind of goes on behind the scenes. And, and we'll put it up on one of my carousels and we'll put it up on our social media as well. Yeah? Yeah, for Thanks, sure. Thanks, everybody. And enjoy the holidays. Enjoy the holidays. And damn it, take care of yourself. Yeah, we Bye, got this. Guys. Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> thank you, Brooke.